Alrighty, so it's time to literally let the lizard out for a run. Now, bring him back to the pool so we can have a bit of a look at him and uh, check what sort of condition he's in. Make sure there isn't too many ticks or uh, any cuts that need attention. Basically, just give him a little bit of a medical evaluation. And hopefully, after this video, I won't need any cuts that need <laughs> assisting to as well. So, pop him in the pool. Now, he's going to like to go underwater pretty much straight away. Let's see how we go with him. With a bit of luck, we might play the game. Play the game. Okay, well, we'll go uh, plan B on this one. A little bit of plan B on it. We'll have to go play fetch. Let's go. Obviously, his first defence is to bite, and he'll also scratch, and they can also whack you with their tails. So they've got a few defences. They're quite strong. This guy's only oh, medium size. They're quite a bit bigger than this. Yeah, I'm gonna try and juggle this camera. some food and we'll just uh, have a look see if there's any ticks on him the parasites suck the blood of our reptiles that we get quite often on a lot of our snakes sometimes they've got marks bite marks on them or scratch marks from dogs or cats as well and you can see this guy highly intelligent what he's doing right now is he's just playing dead he's making out he's dead and usually if he's a boy he poke his willies out as well. I've actually got two hemi penis. So he's playing dead at the moment. He's just relaxing. Now the predator's got me. There's not much I can do. I can try and bite him or I can just stay really still. You can see on his nostrils, his nostrils are right at the end of the nose there. So that may be just to stick just the tip of his head out of the water when he's hunting in the water. And then the top of his head will come out as well, just like a crocodile. And I'll we'll taste that there with that forked tongue. Now scientists say that all of our all of our snakes evolved from monitor lizards around 100 million years ago and they share that forked tongue. That's what 
That's really cool. Okay, external ears there you can see, quite good at hearing. Snakes, are, the ears are covered over, internal ears, they can't hear anywhere as good as a monitor lizard. And he's got round diurnal daytime pupils, just like ours, probably better vision if not 2020 at least. And a mouthful of razor sharp, mouthful of razor sharp, tiny little teeth. But if you ever watched Jurassic Park, they're shaped a little bit like a velociraptor. And a lot of bacteria in that mouth. Old wives' tale is if you ever get bitten by a goanna or a monitor lizard, that the wound will open up again every year. Which is not entirely untrue. Um, if your immune system drops down and the bacteria can actually reactivate and reopen that wound as well. Just like people that get bit by white-tail spiders or other venomous animals, it can be a reoccurring injury. His beautiful belly there. His belly scales. Now, we'll pop you back in just for one more swim, mate, and then I'll sort these cameras out. And then we'll pick you up and take you over the back. There's a lovely creek and some girls for you, mate. How does that sound? Good? All right, you ready? You're gonna play it, are you gonna play dead? <laughs> He's still playing dead. That's really cool.